I'm almost done now. I want to close with two things. One is an answer to question why, and I want to go back to the internet, solving the energy problem. I want to see if I can recruit you to the effort. Um, so the internet, although we're mine, I am mining its history, uh, is not done. So you need to keep working on that. I'm sorry. Um, and to the extent that dense wave division and its descendants um, re recapitulate their history, you will be a shining example of silver bullets. So the energy people can't say there are no silver bullets. We'll say, yes, there are, and dense wave is one of them. So get with the program and find some silver bullets to solve our energy problems. I also have the hope that as you continue to work on the conversion of electrons to photons and photons to electrons, maybe something will come out of that that will be useful in photovoltaics. You know, they, they take photons and make them into electrons. It must strike up your alley. Of course, the internet, which you're continuing to plumb, uh, provides collective intelligence. It connects people together. Maybe with that collective intelligence that you are providing with your plumbing, we can more rapidly come up with the right ideas to solve the energy problem, meet the world's needs for cheap and clean energy. Also, as we substitute terabit ethernet and, and get to photorealistic uh, telepresence, maybe we won't have to travel that much anymore and use fewer fossil fuels. We'll carry our bits, or you'll carry our bits around instead of our atoms. So, are you ready to work on solving the energy crisis through fiber optic communications? Did I persuade you? Thank you. Now let me get back to the Monty Hall paradox in closing. So, you remember the three doors? The prize is Ethernet, the booby prize, two of them are Sonnet. You've chosen your door. I've opened another one of the door and showed you a sonnet. What's the best strategy? Keep the door you chose or switch or doesn't it matter? I'll, I'll give you, I've done this experiment with a million people. A huge number, about half of them, believe it doesn't matter. They are wrong and you can win a lot of money from them tonight at the bar. The answer is you need to switch. And by switching, you double your chances of winning, which is a big enhancement. Double, 2x by winning, uh, by switching. So, uh, and I know half of you believe it right now. You're forming the opinion that it can't possibly double. It can't matter. It's a 50-50 thing, and you're the people who are going to lose the money tonight. So in summary, uh, voice, video, and data, or say television, telephone, and internet have converged. This has led to the migration of the dense wave division world slowly, still now, from sonnet to ethernet. Thanks for dense wave division multiplexing, but you're not done. Please keep going. Uh, we're going to get to 40 gig and 100 gig with the current infrastructure. That should be um, soothing to the carriers. But we're not going to use the current infrastructure, uh, infrastructure to get to terabit, so prepare for some major innovations ahead, new infrastructure. Video is going to drive things, is driving things, and that will be a challenge to this, uh, these Ethernet people currently invading the dense wave division space. We do need some revised architecture of routing and switching for circuits, packets, and lambdas. And finally, I'll leave you with the advice, if in doubt, switch. Thanks.